Guys, good morning. That's better. Good morning, good morning. I need to come talk to you guys. Give me a second. Good morning, I need to come talk to you guys. Let me come talk to you guys. Oh. Let me come talk to you guys a little bit. It's too much now. Good morning. I'm in my office. My office wishes my car. My office. This is my office. This is my, um, what I call my prayer. My prayer room. One of my war rooms. Get in here, guys. I'll wait for you guys to get in here so I can talk to you guys. Good morning. <sighs> Good morning, man. Good morning. This is Rosa from Rosa's Resources talking to you guys. I came in here real quick because huh, I got another trip starting in a little bit. But I came to talk to you guys about the sunken place and how you need to run out. Run out, walk out, crawl out, do whatever you got to do. Just get out of the sunken place. Come on in here, guys. Check on in on the check-in. Thursday. Check on and on the check-in. Good morning. Make sure you like and share. We're talking about the sunken place and we're talking about abuse. Okay, guys? Uh, look, can you believe it's almost going to be 2022? I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I remember when the two sevens clashed. <laughs> Those of you who are old enough, y'all remember what I'm talking about. It was a song about when the 2-7 clash. 1977. <laughs> you know, when you listen to your parents and, uh, and they uh, talk about certain things when they're older, you laugh. You laugh until you get there yourself, which is why I come here to just talk to you guys this morning. Good morning, good morning, guys. I hope you guys are staying positive, staying uplifted. Just trying to stay on your best vibration possible for you, you know? Especially if you have kids. It's very hard right now. With well, everything going sky high, it's going up. But don't worry about that. This is not the first hard time we went through in this world. Okay, you'll get you will get through it if you have a look mustard seed of faith. You will be anxious about nothing. God will help for real. So, guys, if you are in a sunken place, and when I mean a sunken place of depression, there's a lot of people depressed out here. They're depressed because of the situation that's going on in the world. You know what I'm talking about? We all all are experiencing it. Um, or whether they depress about uh, goals they haven't fulfilled yet, or things that look unreachable, that if you just keep going, you will reach your goal. All you have to do is just keep going. Don't worry about overnight thing. Overnight thing don't last long. Go for the longevity. Keep going. Just keep going. Keep climbing. Climb out of the valley. Climb out of the sunken place. You gotta. Do you guys know that you gotta go through suffering? It even says that in um. Uh, First Philippians twenty nine. It says that not only do you have to believe in Christ, but you gotta suffer on Christ. Okay. He suffered. So why do you think you're gonna not? You're not gonna pass that. You gotta go through it too. Okay? And it's in a suffering when you have that breakthrough. Trust me, you push so hard. If you keep pushing through, you push through the hard times. You push through the pain. Push through the pain, guys. You can and you will do it. Most, Some of the most creative uh, ideas came out of this season right here that we're in. Because it came to teach us a lesson. The government is changing. The old school system is changing. The legal system is changing. I can't even believe it. I had court the other day and I had to go online for court. 
which was much better. I didn't have to go in person. It started on time. It was amazing. I think they should keep it. They don't no need to go back to the old way. Guess what? They don't have to go back to the old way of thinking and uh, and doing business in the legal system, educational system, all type of system out here. Immigration system, everything changed. There's so much to talk about, guys. Getting out of the sunken place. So going to court in this season here was really nice online. You know, you had the option to show your face or not show your face, which was really nice. You know, and then they save on rent as well. <laughs> it's nice. Everything has changed and we just got to adjust, adapt to what's going on. <sighs> it's nice, guys. It's nice. Like I said, I'm waiting on my next trip stuff, but I wanted to just come here and talk to you guys just a little bit first. The sunken place. If you're feeling hopeless, like uh, you just can't go on, just hang in there. One day at a time. Stop worrying about tomorrow. That's why you're getting so anxious. You're worrying about what t tomorrow's not even here yet. Why are you worrying about tomorrow? Take your time. Do what you got to do baby steps okay some people can't find a job i don't know why because there's so much jobs out here right now go on indeed guys indeed is a good place to start um but most of all if you have a talent if you have a skill go ahead and you utilize that skill if you know how to cook bake iron whatever you know how to do turn it into a business somebody needs your help Somebody needs your help, young lady. Somebody need your help, young man. Can't find a job? Create one. Create one. There's a need. There's a need for whatever your skills is. Everybody has skills. Some people just not tapped into it yet. That's all. Come on, tell the sunken place. Sunken place going to drag you deeper and deeper into depression. Come on, tell the sunken place. Come on, tell your host and just go take a slight walk. You don't got to run nothing. Just put on your jeans, throw on your sneakers, go take a walk. Go take a walk, wherever that park is, or just walk around the block. No matter where you live, just walk around the block. First you walk around the block one time, then you feel a little stronger, then you're going to walk around there two, three times. Next thing you know, you develop a, a, a whole habit. Come out to the sunken place. If you get the vitamin D beaten down on your beautiful skin, it's going to make you feel alive. It's going to make your skin glow as well. And it's very good for your emotions coming out into the sun. What else? Just like, yeah, deep breathing. Like when you have stress and then you get it out, you got to breathe. Deep, deep breathing, guys. Do that a couple of times. Do that a couple of times. It helps, especially when you have a tense moment. Breathe in. You don't got to do it so hard. Nobody has to know you just go in a quiet place and breathe it out, honey. In and out. You go inside. You go inside. Nobody outside has to know what you're going through unless you show them. Okay? Go inside. Another thing I want to tell people to stop doing. Stop telling people to get over it. If people are healing... If you've been in a traumatic situation, stop telling people to get over it. The only way you're going to get over it is if you go through it, grow through it. And you got to deal with it. You got to deal with your situation. If you don't deal with the situation, it's going to keep on coming up over and over and over and over again. So you can't just keep putting things underneath the table. That is how generational curses uh, develop, guys. You keep on ignoring things. You see things, but you keep on ignoring it generational curses let's talk about uh it, it could go either way female or males the female have like four kids five kids six kids seven kids ten kids eleven kids i hear these stories um the mother had the same issue maybe it wasn't ten kids but probably eight kids the brother had ten kids like it's just generational 
Nobody is married. Different baby fathers from all of them, or probably two baby fathers from all of them combined. Um, cheating is so normalized in your family that when, uh, when the family structure knows that the person is married, but it's okay to bring the side chick to the house, and it's normal. That is so normal, and they treat the wife and the side chick the same. Like it's generational curses. It's so normal that the cycle just keep on repeating itself uh generational curses guys we got to get out of the sunken place you're depressed don't you know when you're depressed uh the kids are depressed the house is depressed you're living in a house in the sunken place it's a dark house turn on the lights why you got the lights if you already depressed so your whole atmosphere is going to be depressed your body your mood your mind your soul is depressed it's dark and then in your house, let me tell you how your house look. You don't turn on the lights. Me and my life, peer lights in my house. I turn on that. I love it. You understand me? Uh, but what, what seems to happen in, in this situation when you're a dog, when you're in a dark space, when you feel depressed and suicidal, your house is dark because you don't want no light to come in. You're a dog. That's demonic, guys. You are a dog. So all, everything in your house is dark. You just, uh, the house is dark. You don't get up. You don't clean the house. If you are in a dark space right now, you need to get up and just open the windows. Let some air come in. You will be surprised when you open the windows in your house. Listen, that's something that's top mode. I'm telling you what I know. You'll be surprised when you open up the windows and just let the air come in and let that breeze come into your house. Even if it's cold, let the breeze open up all the windows. Let some fresh breeze come into your house. Um, let the sun open the curtains. Open the curtains. Let the sunlight in. Let the light in. Forget about the darkness. Let the light in. You saw the lights are beaming right now in Amakara. Let the light come in. Let the light come in. So your your spirit is gonna start feeling better. Um, clean up your house, man. If you got a lot of clutter in your house, if your house is cluttered, it's because your mind and your soul is cluttered. You got so much things. Your mind no clear. I'm telling you what I know. Your mind is not clear because you got so much clutter in your mind. And then it comes, do you know your mind is your world? Your mind is your world. Okay. Listen, so like inside, like I'm saying inside, everything is inside, inside. And then it develops on the outside of your life. So then what happens is in your house now or in your office, everything clutter. You got clutter everywhere. You want to eliminate the clutter, guys. Eliminate the clutter. Listen, start clearing out your closet. Bring it to the homeless shelter. Go go do handout on the street. Get rid of it. Just call. Listen, there's so much charitable uh, places that you could uh, donate. Oh, Salvation Army is one of the greatest ones. Go donate them. Call them. They'll even come and pick it up. Get rid of it. When you make your house lighter, you feel lighter. Get rid of the clutter. People hold on to clutter because it makes them feel rich. That makes them feel like they got a lot of stuff because things is empty in their life. Go look it up. You don't got to believe me. It's just not good. Um, get rid of stuff. Another way you can feel good is to give. Um, to give of your time. Go If you want to stop feeling sorry for yourself, go outside. Start doing charitable work go in the hospital see the people that can't even speak right now wish they could be um in your shoes and they're laying on the bed wish they could be in your shoes and you're not saying it but that's really where you want to be in the grave you're not saying it but that's where you really want to be because you gave up on life if you still have life guys i want you to be grateful i want you to be thankful because things could be worse you're good to go just put one foot in front of the other and it will work out you will be good and another thing guys take care of yourself self care take a nice warm bath a nice warm shower nobody is home whether they home or not go in the bathroom close the door put some candles you always want to be doing things for your partner but what about doing things for yourself put some candles around the bath do it safely they even have the candles right now that it's not like a, a real fire put some can romance yourself you know set up a set up a um a valentine scene for yourself put some roses around you you understand what i'm saying and love up on yourself put some nice uh, uh moisturizer on yourself buy a new lingerie and put on yourself you know what i'm saying love up on yourself guys
feel pretty for yourself. You think because you're single, you don't have to feel pretty for yourself. Okay? For yourself. Whatever you're giving to your partner, give it to yourself. Start there. Guys, if you are in the sunken place, your children are also in the sunken place. Um, if you got mental health issue, it's going to reflect on the kids. Um, I'm going to just give this number out, this information out, safehorizon.org. I believe in them 100%. If you need any help, safehorizon.org, safehorizon.org, okay? Um, just look them up, get help. If you need somebody to talk to, they will counsel you 24 hours. They will come and change your lock. They will move you out of state. They will give you clothing. If you got to run at a drop of a, of a dime from an abusive relationship, they will help you. Okay? There's a, a, a national domestic uh, hotline as well. But like I said, I'm more familiar with, um, I'm more familiar with uh, Safe Horizon. Let me get that information for you guys. These are some information that you guys need. Um... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, I don't know, but people don't let them... People don't let their um, fingers do the walking anyway. It's just ridiculous. There's so much information out here. National Domestic Hotline. Everyone deserves a relationship free of domestic violence. And when you're ready, we are here to listen in confidence. 360 days of the year um 24 hours a day their number is 800 799 safe okay 799 safe 799 safe be safe okay uh there's also for people that's feeling suicidal do you understand guys that in this okay do you understand that in this uh in this uh in this season right now, a lot of people are feeling broken. Suicide hotline for people that are lazy. I'll get a few. National suicide prevention hotline. If you're feeling suicidal around the season, around this season when you feel like you got to go out and get everything for your kids. If not, they're not going to love you. Listen, go cook your kids a meal if you have food to cook. And if you don't have food to cook, uh, there's a lot of organization. Don't be proud. Okay, proud mouth. Do not get feet fed okay there's organizations out here you don't have to sit down in your house and uh and suffer in silence there's places out here that you could go and get food okay don't be ashamed okay don't sit in your house and just uh, uh and wither away okay in depression don't do it because when you're scared to call your friends or they're going to talk about you or whatever because everybody want to live up with the jones if it was a real friend, they would bring some food over. They will call you uh, for the, some food. If it's one bread, they'll cut half. That's how I grew up. Anywho, National Suicide Prevention Hotline is 800-273-8255. 800-273-8255. Okay, guys? I want to wish you guys um, a happy holiday season. As I am not celebrating the holidays um, now that I came into the light and I know the truth. But um, if you guys are doing that, you need to be safe out here in these streets. And just do the best you can. Do the best you can for you and your family. Don't try to live up with the Joneses. Okay? Because at the end of the day, nobody can help you but God. Alright? Guys, have a great day. I hope that information helped you um keep your head up keep going one day at a time that's all i could tell you all right uh my website is rosesresources.biz if anyone would like to contact me roses resources everything i do is roses resources i am on all social network rosesresources.biz is my website good luck guys